I'm going to try to answer some questions to all of you. I had some emails regarding the submission um, about uh, what is the difference between the entry space or the hall for the public and the hall for the administration. You'll notice that here we have we have the public area and then we'll have the private area. The private, this the public, it's for the users, for everyone. The private, it's for staff. When you are talking about the public area, when you go inside of a public building, you normally have an entrance hall, right? So you have an entrance with a lobby. And normally you have a waiting area with some seats and then a reception. Okay, so this is what you expect to find in a public building. But then the private area or the staff, or as we call it, the administration, let's assume if you think about the university, we, have the, we are part of the Department of Architecture. The Department of Architecture is under the College of Engineer, and we have a dean. And that dean has an office, and their office it's a part of the administration of the university this is a part that usually it's private you can go there uh, but it's not like in a main entrance so this is in the part of the public and then here maybe you'll have you know an amphitheater maybe you'll have an exhibition space maybe you have a shop to buy things maybe you have the service areas with bathrooms or playrooms but then when you go to the administration, it's, let's say that somehow, you know, connected to this uh, public area, you have another building or another element where you go inside and then you find the place where the staff is working. You don't go directly inside a corridor or Imagine if you want to talk with the director, you don't go just and knock on the door of the director. You'll have a kind of an entrance hall again, let me just do this with another color. So again, when you go inside that space, you'll have, as again, a welcoming area, maybe with some seating area, and then you'll face maybe a secretary, okay, that will be here, that will announce you to the person that you want to meet, okay? That secretary, usually it's uh, within the same entrance area and the same waiting area, uh, in the beginning it could be an open space or it could be with the visions but then inside after that space it becomes even more private so let's say then after that space i have uh the one of the staff working here then another one working there another office for another one then i'll have the office of the director and then i have the meeting room for everyone but with the office and then sometimes i have an extra service area like you have the kitchenette and the bathrooms and normally that kitchen and bathrooms they are from the staff not from the public so they are usually in a position that are kind of hidden. So the ones you shouldn't have to go through this kind of more public space to go to the bathroom or to go to the, the, the kitchenette. This should be somehow included in the space of this uh, unit, okay? So there's a big difference between a reception or um, uh, an entrance hall for a private uh, staff area and the public. Uh, I also had questions regarding the director. The director is the person that is in charge of the whole project. Again, this is public. You'll have people working here, there, there, there. But then you'll have the, the people that are working in the background that are doing the accountants, taking care of the, the place, having the meetings, doing the schedule. So the director is the one in charge of the whole project. So you should put it in an nice location. Many times the director has a straight rela relationship with the secretary, also with the other staff that it's working here, and definitely with the meeting room, that it's a place where you receive uh, people. Um,